Hey, welcome to a 21 day fix your journey to a fit life tip number two. I'm just going to put together a few tips. Um, so today I did dirty 30 and I'm on my first week um, of this other round. I did one in the springtime and I'm doing one again this fall and it may be my first round. It may be my second round. Um, you know, be real about where you are and where you have to go. This is a great program. You can do three weeks of super dedicated, focused work. Then you can take a week off, two weeks off, and go back to another three weeks if you have a lot of weight to lose. This is a really nice program. And during that time in between, you can see what you've learned. And, you know, enjoy the process of learning which really I want to say something about surrendering because this is a new concept, a new way to eat. I didn't know how to eat this way. And I have 18 years of medical experience and 15 years of um, cleansing, holistic healing, a nutritional um, you know, education under my belt. And a lot of these concepts, which worked for me and took off those last 12 pounds, which were pretty darn hard to do on a 5-1 frame, um, this worked for me, but I had to surrender to it. And you know what? Quite honestly, the first time around, I didn't surrender well. The, it's when I got on the second time that I saw all of the results. Um, so I'm going to ask you, if you really, really want to have a change in your life, in your body, in your, in your way that you deal with food every day, uh, then surrender to this process for 21 days. It's not that hard. Um, so if you finished your first day, if you haven't started, if you finished your first week, if you finished your first round and you didn't really commit to it, think about surrendering to the process and just giving it a chance. You can't cheat every day and expect the weight loss. I did that the first round. I, mean, I lost a few pounds, but I didn't really lose the consistent weight when I went back on and I went, oh, I got to keep, I got to make out that PDF and I have to um, cross out those boxes and make sure I don't do anything extra. So if I have a bad day, you know what? I just go, eh, it was a bad day. I'm going to do it better next time. Or I might start over again week one, you know, nothing is set in stone here, but think about the process. Think about the educational program that you're on right now and surrender to it because that is when we open ourselves up to new ideas and we actually learn something. So um, tip number one uh, for this video is I missed a video last yesterday. Um, if I don't do it early in the morning, it doesn't get done. Luckily, I'm doing it at two o'clock this afternoon right now. And it took me a long time to get down here, but I really wanted to um, keep up with my workout. So I missed a day. The best catch up ways are do yoga on a missed day and put it in with whatever the workout is or do Pilates on a missed day. So if you're, if you, if you missed day one or two, um, uh, or three, you can fix it up with a Pilates, uh, extra workout. Or if you've missed day, um, four, five or six, you can fix it up with the yoga day because yoga or Pilates added onto one of the workouts doesn't stress your body as much as, um, as the doing two cardio and dirty 30. Uh, because those are active recovery days. So um, I find it great. You, you know, an hour workout isn't that much different if you can do it on a Saturday or Sunday. Okay, so that's tip one. Tip two is um, notice what she's saying when you're when she's doing the workout about where to um, squeeze, where to focus the muscle. And um, I've been learning that to really listen to these trainers because, um, you know, we're focused on uh, what are we doing and how are we doing it and are we doing it right and how many are we doing? But listen to what they're saying because when you do a move and you focus the muscle, the energy actually gets focused on that muscle and the work gets focused on that muscle instead of using all of the accessory muscles, which you don't want to do because then you're doing what you're doing at the gym when you're like, you know, just lifting things up and you're not really focused. We're, we're, we're trying to move that energy into the right muscle group and work it so it is changing. Okay. Um, tip number three on this video is notice where you have weak points. Um, I really urged you in tip number one is to use light weights because we're doing a drop set, which is working for an, uh, a minute long. And my uh, error came in using two heavy weights, the ones that I did on the on the um, reps, eight or 10 reps, and I hurt myself. And so, um, you know, working for a minute is very different than doing eight reps 
uh, with heavy weights. So I am now using five pounds and eight pounds. And I'm also noticing when, where I'm weak. Right now, I'm weak in my wrist because I haven't been working out um, for a few months to, to um, heal this injury. I'm weak in my ankles. And I actually work out in bare feet because I feel like I need to strengthen my feet. All of the bones and all of the ligaments and all the tendons um, are need to need to be exercised. And in sneakers, they don't get exercised. And this isn't a high intensity workout. This is a you know a really good intensity workout. There's no jumping like in T25 um, in insanity. Uh, this is a really good um, workout. And um, you know, I find that barefoot is very very helpful. Or wearing the little um, shoes that that protect you from barefoot if you're cold. Um, so. Those are the tips I wanted to share with you today. Um, the last thing I wanted to do while I was working with this program, I realized why I like this program the best. Um, and it's because who, when I see Amber, um, I see a, a body that I really like, that I can um, I want to achieve. Um, my struggle in the past has been to work with the programs where the trainers are very bulky, and the women. And, um, you know, that's my, um, what I'm connecting with. And so I've actually always resisted working to the point so that I didn't, cause I didn't want to get the real bulk. Um, and that might've been very subconscious, but I think it's very real for me. So I really like Amber's look of her body. I, I like that she focuses on the core. And I think that's where we all need to focus on, not only cause it looks nicer, but it's actually really strengthening our back and help, helping us to age better and stronger and not have back injuries. Um, that's why I like this core work. Um, but it really does feel nice to have these sides really tight and, and to have a strong core. Um, so, so I looked at that and I said, I really ad, uh, admire her body. So that's one thing that you might want to look at is to say, what do you want in your workouts? What do you want to look like? Uh, because that will um, guide you to where you want to be. So thank you for watching. This is Kai Rose, and you can find me on kairosfitness.com. Uh, this is a 21-day fix, Journey to a Fit Life, and I do one-on-one um, -on -one coaching and group uh, support and accountability and um, and weekly Zoom calls. We're going to add that to the, um, to the program so that we can all chat uh, in person. Uh, so that'll be fun. And um, email me if you want. Uh, go to uh, kairosfitness.com and you can email me there. Uh, and let's get together and do this really good journey to a fit life. Bye.